In New Zealand, the fight is on to save one of the smallest and rarest marine dolphins in the world. With about 100 remaining, the Maui's dolphin is extremely threatened. If this species doesn't survive, New Zealand will be the first country in the world to have driven a marine dolphin species to extinction. Maui's dolphins are only found off the west coast of the country's North Island. They're short and chubby, with adults reaching around one and a half metres, the average size of a child. The most significant threat to Maui's dolphins is from set net and trawl fishing. Tragically, the animals become entangled and then trapped in the nets and drown. Early in 2003, the New Zealand government introduced a ban on set netting in most of the Maui's dolphin range, but one challenge is to actually enforce the new regulations. A further challenge is to tackle the risk from trawling. There's a huge recreational and commercial fishing industry culture in New Zealand. Fishing in itself isn't a problem if it's done in a sustainable way that doesn't threaten other marine species and habitats. Fishermen care. They don't want to catch dolphins. Uh, it's just the dollar, unfortunately, has the overriding say in the issue. Part of the solution is making sure that the set net and trawling bands are far enough offshore to protect the dolphin. To determine exactly where the Maui's dolphins swim and live, WWF and the University of Otago conducted aerial surveys in summer and winter. The Maui's dolphins are known to be close to shore in summer, but venture further out to sea in winter. The crucial thing about the aerial survey, the great advantage of it, well there are two. Firstly they're very fast, so that you can get a, a, a large amount of information in a very short time, like, like two weeks you can get a lot of information. And secondly, each individual dolphin has got a good chance of being counted. So the whole population, you're getting a snapshot of the whole population, not just a few individuals. This research has shown an overlap with fishing activities and Maui's distribution. Trawling and set net bands need to be extended further offshore. Three dolphins at 22 Local communities are also a crucial source of valuable information. Uh, WWF, together with researchers, has established a Maui dolphin sightings network. That means that the public can call or uh, report online a Maui dolphin sightings to us. Um, this really helps us to find out where the dolphins go so we have a better understanding of the distribution. Pollution, like plastic bags, is another threat. In New Zealand, around 22 million plastic bags are used every week in a country with a population of only 4 million. Plastic bags are not good for any animal to be trying to digest. Um, and in the water they can look like jellyfish, for example. Probably they could look like squid and any other type of uh, marine animal. And if there is a, um, another marine animal that's interested in that kind of kai or food, then um, you know if they go and try to consume it, it can be really dangerous. WWF coordinates an education program in the local area and children are taught about the threats facing Maui's dolphins and how to protect them. If this species is to recover, there can't be more than one human-induced death every seven years. Despite this, since July 2001, seven dead Maui's have been found, with five of the deaths due to fishing. If nothing is done now to ensure no further deaths due to fishing, the Maui's dolphin will soon be extinct. The choice is ours. Critically endangered species Only found in Aotearoa Tanga